the one and only mahogany. Today we're down in southeast Calgary and we got the drone up in the air. It's a Chinook day, so it's a balmy plus five in the middle of January. And we got access to three different show homes by one builder called Hopewell. They've been building here in Mahogany since 2006. And at the end of the video, we got an exclusive interview with a salesperson who's gonna tell us why Mahogany is such an awesome place to call home here in Calgary. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about the builder Hopewell that we're gonna be featuring in these three homes. So two of the homes that we're looking at are detached options. And the last one is a duplex and you're not gonna believe what is down in the basement. So make sure you stay tuned to that one. So let's get into this video right now. Mahogany is definitely a very vast and expansive community. There's multi, multi-million dollar homes, lakefront homes, there's detached houses that are typical here in Calgary. They have townhouses, they have duplexes, there's condos. So there's a spot for everyone in this community, which I really like. The private lake is pretty darn cool. Even in the winter time right now, there's people out there skating. There's people just sitting on the lake right now. It's a beautiful day today in Calgary. And I think it would be really nice to have access like that in the community that you live in, exclusive access because the, the lake and all the amenities here are only for people that live in mahogany. Kind of cool, you know, keep the riffraff out. Stephanie and I actually considered moving to a mahogany when we moved to Calgary, but ultimately we ended up going up to Evanston in the Northwest. But mahogany was definitely a close second for us. So this home is called the Lena by Hopewell. Let's take a peek. So coming right in here, just off of the entrance, you have an office here. You could use it as an office. This could be just be like a sitting area. Okay, wow. This is very bright and clean in here. Nice big island. I'm digging all the futuristic kind of stovetop, built-in oven, big fridge. You have the pantry back here. And this would be the entrance to the garage. So you have some nice built-ins here where you could sit down, take your boots off. Your kids can take off their boots, derobe everything before they come in the house so they don't dirty up your nice clean house. Over here, we have a great big dining room area with the sliders looking off into your backyard. This is the show home, so they don't have a deck built at all. I'm kind of getting some like wedding photography vibes going on in this living room with, with the white marble fireplace. I'm not a designer, so I don't know what the term is for this kind of style, but I like it. Let's head down to the basement now. Whoa, nice big basement down here. And as soon as you come down, you're, you're looking right at your living room area. You have Another area tucked away over here, which they have a desk set up right now. So I don't know, you got two seats right here. So I don't know if this is like the cheap seats. If you're watching uh, the football or UFC or something like that, or maybe you could have two computers on here. If you're into gaming, you can come down here and game it out. And then in the back here, there's actually two bedrooms back here. This is bedroom number one and then full bathroom, very nice and clean, very clean look in this house. Second bedroom right here. And then back here, you have the storage area with all the brains, hot water tank, furnace. So you have lots of storage. If you have kids, well, I guess if you have kids to play hockey, they could leave their hockey equipment in the garage, but you can store a lot of stuff down here, so. I love it. So let's head up to the second floor, why don't we? That's always my favorite part about houses is going up to the second floor and then checking out the bonus room and the primary bedroom. 
It's got like a California vibe going on in here. Huge bonus room. And then off to this side, you have, oh, three bedrooms. Bedroom number one. So if you have a big family, this is a perfect house. Bedroom number two, another good size. And then bedroom number three is also a really big size with a huge window too. It's really sunny outside today. What I do like about this, especially if you have a big family, all your kids can be on this wing. Then you have some separation here with the bonus room. There is a full dual vanity bathroom up here. So if, like I said, if you have lots of kids, they can both brush their teeth at the same time. So that's super handy. Oh, wow. Okay, so we had the washer and dryer. You have a sink up here. I love that. That's super handy, especially with kids because they get dirty. And then it actually comes into the walk-in closet of the primary bedroom. If you don't want to go out to your bonus room area and you want some privacy, you could come through your primary bedroom and fold, get the laundry, be all incognito and secret getting your laundry. Okay, this is the primary bedroom. I like it, I like it. You could see from your primary bedroom right into your ensuite. So if your wife or your husband's having a bath, you could sit on your bed and you can talk to them at the same time. Okay, this primary ensuite is really nice. I love this freestanding tub with the brass looking fixtures on it. You have the dual sinks here, but unlike a lot of the homes that we look at, there's some good separation between sinks. So if you're brushing your teeth, I know when I brush my teeth, I can get water everywhere sometimes, or if I shave, at least there's some separation. So there's no fights caused from the dual sinks being too close to each other. We got a good stand up shower here. Let's have a peek, let's do the shower test. Yep, it's a good size. Over here we have the private loo for all your ultimate privacy. So we're gonna hop on good old Google Maps here and show you guys exactly where Mahogany is in Calgary. Mahogany is in the southeast and it's right by uh, the ring road that goes all around calgary so from a connectivity standpoint mahogany is in a pretty good spot all the amenities are already in place for the most part as soon as you come into the neighborhood here there's a bunch of grocery store shops tim hortons starbucks there's a couple pubs and restaurants there's pretty much everything that you need right here in this plaza, which is great. If you're getting into mahogany, you don't have to worry about having a long commute to get your kids to school. There is a public school right across the street here. There's also a Catholic school as well. If you're heading up to the airport, it's about a 25 minute drive from mahogany. Airport's right up here in the Northeast. If you wanna head out to the mountains, you can just hop on the ring road this way and then it'll take you out to Canmore and Banff. It's a little bit further away from the mountains because it is on the north, the southeast corner of Calgary. So you're looking up about an, an hour and a half drive to get to Canmore and then a little bit more to get to Banff. So this next one is by Hopewell as well. It's called the Astrid. Let's check it out. So it's definitely not as big as the first one that we toured with Hopewell. Little espresso coffee area here by the fridge living room right here and then the dining room i like how they have the the bench seating here in this dining room kind of gives it a, a bistro kind of restaurant vibe to it sliders looking off to your deck here and then coming around this way this would be your pantry and the entrance in from your garage with a little chair to sit down and take your boots off. The basement is not finished in this house, but here's an idea of a basement that has no drywall on it or any walls or anything like that. So this is kind of what you would get if you choose to go with a brand new home here in Calgary without the basement developed. They're essentially just going to insulate it, put some poly on it so no water gets out or gets in. The ceiling's not done at all. So this is, basically an open slate to do whatever you want. You can develop it. You can let your kids play hockey down here. You could put a bunch of storage down here. 
You could even put another bed down here and have people stay down here that you don't really, that you let come over, but you don't really like that much. Okay. Oh, I like the, the glass here. I don't know how safe that is for kids, but they have glass as the railings here. Okay, this is kind of where the meat of the house is with this model. You have washer and dryer combo. Here's the bonus room. It's not massive, but it de it's definitely functional. You can have a decent sized couch here. We'll save the primary bedroom for last, as always. Here we have the nursery. Okay, it's a nice bright nursery in here. Then we have the second bedroom here. Shall we go to the primary bedroom? Or is it master bedroom? Primary or master? I'm still not used to saying primary. And then here's the primary bedroom. It's not massive, still a good size. And then, let's see, is it a walk-in closet here? So yeah, you do have a walk-in closet in here. Here we go, the primary ensuite, the ultimate test. Dual vanities. We have a tub. Um, let's see, I'm six foot four. This tub, let's see. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely not that long. I don't think I would enjoy really having a bath in this tub let alone by myself. So I'm here with uh, Dayon right now and he's with Hope, Hopewell right. here in Mahogany and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the community and a little bit about, about uh, Hopewell as a builder as well. So Mahogany, we've been around for about 2006. We have about two to three years left of uh, building and then we're gonna be completely sold out. Uh, right now we're building in the southeast corner of Mahogany uh, and then we're gonna be working our way towards uh, west, towards 52nd Street. Cool. Um, Mahogany is a whole beautiful, beautiful place, like huge lake. It's the largest in the city. We've got two uh, beaches. So we've got a big um, beach club, 22,000 square feet of like gym uh there's tons of weddings that happen there. nice a beautiful place for that and then there's also west beach it's a little bit smaller nice to sort of keep the crowds away um in two different areas which is right nice. right so it's all private access right so you have to be um like living in this community in order to get access to the beach club and, and things like that that's right yeah nice um private uh keep in mind there is a yearly fee to have access to all the amenities in mahogany uh, -huh. uh it is about 490 dollars a year um keep in mind it usually goes up a few percent every year cool uh tons of commercial space as well uh they just opened up uh, the second commercial area and then there's a few more planned in mahogany which is nice uh -huh. two school sites are in place as well those are ready to go one's a public and one is a uh, separate school as well uh, and then there's also beautiful wetland reserve as well beautiful to go for walks if you've got little ones dogs uh, beautiful to go for there for sure and then there's also tons of different playgrounds as well in the community so nice so if you're really if you important. live an active lifestyle and you're in, in your family's very active mahogany's a, a good spot that's right yeah cool yeah it's awesome. awesome yeah as a builder we've been around for over 30 years we started as a developer so we are a developer in mahogany as well which is nice and then we started um building homes about 15 16 years ago so we just finished speaking with dion the sales rep with hopewell and he pointed us in this direction across the street this is called the Joni. It's a duplex. And in this duplex, there's actually a two bedroom, two bathroom suite in the basement. So this would be a great helper if you're looking for a mortgage helper right now and you wanna get into your first home because the price point for this duplex is actually pretty good. So let's check it out. So this model is called the Johnny. It is a duplex and this is a, a great option for someone that's a first time home buyer and wants to get into mahogany because the price point is pretty attractive, especially with the high interest rates right now. So let's take a peek. They do have their office set up in here, so it doesn't look as move in ready, but needless to say, you guys will get the point. So as you come in here to the kitchen, there's a nice big island, lots of counter space, this is the back of the home here. There's a nice little area to take off your shoes when you're coming in from the garage. And then we'll go back here so I can show you guys the living and dining room area. They do have it set up as a show suite right now and an office, so you can't really get 
a good idea of where things go, but it's a big open space. It's nice and wide too. So we're gonna save the basement to the end because in the basement, there's a two bedroom, two bath suite. So make sure you stick around for that. As you come up the stairs here, there's a two piece bathroom heading on up now. Got a big bonus room right here. That's nice. And then over this way, there's a full size bathroom. And then this is bedroom number one right here. Lots of windows in here. And bedroom number two right here. And then let's go check out the primary suite right now. I wanna say for this price point that we're gonna share at the end of the video, you can get this house, which is actually a pretty big house for pretty much the cost of a tiny little one bedroom condo in downtown Toronto. So you can see why so many people, especially if you're starting a family, are coming to Calgary and buying their first home here because you can get something like this right off the hop instead of trying to you know work your way up the property ladder in toronto going from a condo to hopefully a townhouse and then to a semi-detached and then to a detached if you have a big family like and you're later on in life a lot of people can't do that they need to get into a house right away so at least here in calgary you can do that for a reasonable price <laughs> so there's a washer and they would have a washer and dryer here but it's not here at the moment this is the primary bedroom. It's a really big primary bedroom. You have a walk-in closet as well. And then the primary ensuite, dual sinks, toilet, and the combo bath and shower together. So you're not getting as much as some of the other homes that we were looking at, but to get into mahogany at this price point and not be in a condo and actually be in a duplex. And on top of that, you can put a suite in the basement. That's really gonna help you get your mortgage payment down, especially as these interest rates are high at the moment. So as we head down to the basement here, you can see that there's a separate entrance with a little sitting area so that people can take their boots off and not get these stairs all mucky and dirty as they head down to their separate suite. So coming down here, you have a storage area there. Okay, so this is the suite. You have your kitchen right here with nice counter space. This is the living room area. There's a little nook here for your TV. The layout, it's a little awkward to be honest with you but maybe it's just the sectional that's here that's not working with the tv but it's still a two bedroom two bathroom suite which is really rare really really rare so this is the first bedroom decent sized bedroom and then the bedroom actually has its own private ensuite which is nice and then this would be where the washer and dryer are so they have their own separate washer and dryer and over on the other side this would be ideal for roommates because one roommate's on that side of the suite with their own private bathroom and then on this wide side of the suite you have another bathroom right here full-size bathroom with actually two doors there's two double doors here for privacy and then coming in here here's the second bedroom so there'd be lots of privacy for for roommates to live in this suite down here and then there's some storage space right here so you could rent this out long term you could even airbnb this if you want this is this is great because to get into the housing market right now here in canada can be challenging just with how expensive the prices have got over the last couple of years and where the interest rates are at so anytime you can purchase a property and have that income help helper down below especially a two bedroom two bathroom that's going to be huge just to maintain you know to be able to pay your your mortgage going forward as we're still in this high interest 
great climate. So last but not least, let's get down to the prices of these bad boys. So the first home is called Alina, and that has a price tag of $817,000. The second home, which was called the Astrid, has a price tag of just about $700,000. Now the final home that we viewed, the Joni, which was the duplex, has a starting price $580,000. And if you wanted to add the two bedroom, two bath suite down in the basement, you're looking at another $90,000 in addition to that. So that brings you up to $670,000 if my math is correct. So if you're interested in moving to Mahogany, give us a phone call, shoot us a text. We'll leave our information right there. We'd love to connect you with Hopewell and just make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck with your home purchase here in Calgary. And if you want more content like this, we have an awesome playlist right here that you should check out right now.